Now is the time to set up your passive income strategy through real estate investments. Well, according to the news media, the current state of the real estate industry in 2010 can be summed up as follows. Property values have gone down, housing inventory has gone up, and there seems to be no, uh, not enough buyers. The banks and other financial institutions are no longer lending. This paints a very grim picture and it can actually be very uh, discouraging and depressing. But the reality is that there are two sides to this news. You can either be overwhelmed with fear and do nothing or you can see this market for what it really is and rise up to the, uh, the challenge and take hold of the opportunities that are all around you. The silver lining is when everyone is running scared. It means you can now cherry pick your deals. The reality is that smart and tough investors can now set up a passive earning strategy for the long term because they realize that hard economic times don't last forever. Those who understand this fact take a long term investment approach and position themselves for future profits and benefits and as a result of the action that they take especially now when all the uh, news pundits uh, and, and media uh, talking uh, figures all say, oh, uh, <laughs> you better run for the fences. Those who take you know, precise action right now are the ones that will stand to gain uh, as the market starts to rebound. Thinking long term when investing in uh, uh, real estate in this market. Well, you see, the thing is, you know, buying property is more affordable because uh, property values have gone down. And this means that investing in real estate now requires less money, you know, contrary to a couple of years back. Right now is the time to stock up on all the cheap deals that you can get. Also, the housing inventory has gone up since there are fewer buyers. Hence, it's a buyer's market, and now you get to cherry pick the deals that you actually want in the neighborhoods that you want to uh, you, you want to target. Now, this is this is this is another, another side of the story is that you know banks are no longer lending anymore, so there there is now a huge demand from real estate investors for funds for them to use to buy these deals that are practically being sold for pennies on the dollar. Well, this scarcity of funds from the bank has presented a window of opportunity for regular people to actually become the banks and uh, and essentially make uh, their money work for them. You can you can actually become the bank and earn a uh, high interest rate of return for yourself uh, that is secured by uh, real estate. So since the real estate investors are the ones looking uh, for funds to finance their deals, you sh you definitely have to demand you know a high a high interest rate of return on your investment. Your goal should be to lend when you lend when you lend your money. You want to make sure that you you create a loan uh, that is at at the low uh, loan to values of at least sixty five percent or less. So basically, you're going to lend the money at you know sixty five percent of the value of the asset or less. That's the best way to secure your money. And also, you get to secure your money by, you know, getting a promissory note, a deed of trust. In some places, it's also known as a mortgage, and also a, a, a lender's insurance. You want to make sure that you you definitely because the investment has to work for you. It has to work for the investor. It has to work for you. It has to be a win-win for everybody. But you want to also make sure, as the private lender, that you want to charge an interest rate of return that is in line with your long-term investment goal so that you can earn passive incomes uh, passive uh, rate of return uh, passive returns on your money so well now have you heard what I had to say uh, I want to know what you think so if you sh if you share the same viewpoint go ahead and leave a comment on my blog and if you don't I still want to uh, uh, um, get to know your opinions so uh, my blog uh, is www.zenith Property Solutions dot com forward slash blog. Again, it's www.zenithpropertysolutions.com forward slash blog. Thank you.